Hi, Bon. Can uh, I have your attention? I'm going to talk to you about the first time Jerome Powell gave a speech. I'm going to talk to you about the Monetary Policy. I'm going to talk to you about the Monetary Policy. I'm going to talk to you about the Economic Club of Washington. Iring mega dosi itu amar asal tu sangat cemak baru waktu na iring me sambanding torturu apa kata itu iram me interview ek moderate kari na, me conversation ek moderate kari billionaire investor David Rubenstein itu amal asal nta me interview ek jenis cai wajib ma, bishay itu samband perasna wajib ma bishay ing tarumak pahir ap Jerome Powell ge wetu papa waki itu ke la Robin Stein na hawa itu ni tama lassan tu misa kaccha ge mau sah kerana nang highlights keep ageh ni tinga eva ge mau market tech itu ama dhanat makoh me change ke katta itu ni Jerome Powell ge speech ke yana atre Bitcoin price ke weighing udah tu ge ayah ge ayah ge mau speech ke vivid asta oladi market tech ke dynamics change jono bawa me Bitcoin price ke yo 15 min chart ke dekam arpe no Iringa make dollar kiri dgi highest level lek wisud sunda sunsi panas atar tergi ayat pasi wisud dega hati hati tawar tawar na dengan ayat trending apa jadi minyak minyak kita tu mai sidi uni iringa api balamu highlights kiri pak meten sita Jerome Powell ki speech cik me awam bet sama kema. Okay, thank you. So, as I think everybody knows, our special guest is the chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, who has now completed five years as chairman, uh, as of two days ago, your fifth year, and now been on the Fed Board for almost 12 years. So, Jay, um, thank you very much for being here. And why don't we start with an easy question? <laughs> so, you made a speech last week commenting on the FOMC's decision to raise the Fed discount rate by... Um, a small amount, relatively speaking, 25 basis points. Some would. Me tell the billionaire, billionaire investor Ruben Stein now question. So why then 25 basis points following rate rate increase? Kara, I buy it. Dinaki pe kapa se labor strong labor report ta. Kawa expect kare ek lakhs gana, pan lakhs gana ka jobs create tu na. Iri me non form payroll number ek kawa very well awa denang hi tia nang. अरे 25 बेसिस पॉइंट ओलिंग रेट टेक वैरी करना तो ताऊ दूर टाट दे मैंने तम 50 ओलिंग वैरी करना तो किन्हें तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नो कुनी हाल वाला में पीपल वुड से दैट वाज स्मॉल बट एट द टाइम इट वाज इन क्लियर दैट द जॉब्स रिपोर्ट वुड बी एस स्ट्रॉंग एस इट टर्न्ड आउट टू बी सब्सिक्वेंटली Thank you for inviting me here today. It's great to be here. Uh, so we don't get to play it that way, unfortunately. We have to, uh, but I'll, so I'll, I'll take it this way. <clears throat> uh, so the message we were sending at the FOMC meeting last Wednesday was really that um, the disinflationary process, the process of getting inflation down, has begun. And it's begun in the goods sector, which is uh, about a quarter of our economy. But it has a long way to go. These are the very early stages of disinflation. So the services sector really, except for housing services, <coughs> pardon me, uh, is not really showing any, any disinflation yet. So our message really was this process is likely to take quite a bit of time. Uh, it's not going to be, uh, we don't think, smooth. It's probably going to be bumpy. And so we think that we're going to need to do further rate increases, as we said, and we, we think that we'll need to hold policy at a restrictive level for a period of time. Then comes the, uh, the, the uh, labor market report for January here are conditional on incoming data and what happens. So we never say this is, this is what we think will happen. We, you know, we, we make a tentative forecast and then we let the data come in. For example, if the data were to continue to come in stronger than we expect and we were to conclude that we needed to raise rates more than is priced into the markets or than we wrote down at our last for group of forecasts in December, then we would certainly do that. We would certainly raise rates more. Okay, so um, today, for people who aren't familiar with the FOMC, who is actually is on the FOMC? I am going to explain Jerome Powell explain that the rate hike is going to be in the labor market and strength. I am going to analyze the FOMC committee with the FOMC committee. I am going to talk to the FOMC committee with the FOMC committee. Eh, mungkin lagi mana atas tu orang beri kerana sama ini pasti mesti itu dua ganjil. Kalau dengan FOMC, komite yang kau unda sama ni tu, when ni kau orang kena kela, me pasnya David Rubenstein, atau Powell ke? Ekat, mana mewah kita cari Powell ke? Labu ni? 
today. For people who aren't familiar with the FOMC, who is, actually is on the FOMC? So uh, the U.S. Central Bank consists of a board of governors here in Washington. There are seven governors. Those governors are nominated by the president and uh, confirmed by the Senate, and we serve terms that are, that are not synced up with the election cycle, so we're, we're independent. There are also 12 reserve banks around the country which have a degree of independence, and they're, so, they, so each, each reserve bank is led by a president who works there full time. All 12 of them sit on the FOMC, so that's 19 people sit on the FOMC, so it's quite a large committee. Of Maybe governors lah hati nai jana adipati itu lu Senate man le anu mati anu apa hati nai hati nai ira matero rata pura hati nai Federal Reserve Banku dolah kim hati nai President lah dolos hati nai dolah hati nai dah nama hati nai me committee saman hati nai FOMC 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 ku wata me kita mai committee ka itu orang me dah nama hati nai game toru toru labino itu toru toru analyze kalla tama awasani basis point kiri yang indah rate tegak. Beri ini nanti rate pos nanti rate pala ada cut kerana itu. Ia di wajan tiga dua tiga negara ni. Minum ini FOMC committee yang kini kita mahu jerum Paul sama kerja. FOMC policy decision ni kekak di committee yang kini tiga dua istilah kela chairman kini tiga dua pasca kini nanti nanti. Oya apa oya kaya dasa muling kela ni tanya kaya dasa aha nama tu kela hapu perasne tu Powell peluru tu ni mama awasan ni tu kata kerana ni, eka Federal Reserve Chairman perasa Chairman ke Chairman tu benar sana nama mama puru dah kerja awal dah awasan ni tu kata kerana ni kela minum minum kuwa. So does the Chairman of the Federal Reserve Board speak first and say here's what I think, and or does he wait until the end and say well thanks for what you think but let me tell you what I think. What do you do? So diff different chairs have done it different ways, and so I, I ten I've tended to do what my predecessor, immediate predecessor did, I think. Well, this is what I do. I, I speak last on the sort of the economic go-around. So everyone else talks about what they think about the economy, and in their district, for example, if they're Reserve Bank president, and I listen to all that, and then I give my comments at the end, and I kind of sum up what people have said, and then I speak first on monetary policy. Ini pasti David Rubin saya nak perasan. Tama inflation rate kita kan, mili mili dua persen dulu tu gain. Macam ni dua persen macam dua persen macam ni. Mili mili mereka ay three percent dulu tu gain. Nanti three percent dulu tu gain. Awak nak hemat tu mereka pasal suap ni tu gila. Eh, wah, eh, apa partial tu? Macam ini yang ekat balan tu perasan ni sah utre lepun hati. Okay, so you said your inflation rate target is two percent, but why two percent and not three percent? Three percent, you know. Could be tolerable, really. I mean, most for most of organized history, three percent is considered okay. Why do you want two percent? So two percent is the global standard, and that is our objective. Two percent, as measured by the, the uh, PCE uh, index, and that's just that's not something we're looking at changing. That isn't going to change. It's that's not going to change. Not going to change now. But okay, so you need to get the two percent, and your goal to get there is by what period of time? Would you like to get there? Well, we say we say that we're using our tools to get there over time. If you look at our forecasts, we expect 2023 to be a year of significant declines in inflation, and it's actually our job to make sure that that's the case. Two percent can in global standard deka in this high case even sakara ne two percent expectation ne ke hima mai ke ne ke thoma jaram Paul kiwe wagi ma huwa kala time frame ekak me samandhin thi na thake le thing David Rubenstein gave us ne uttar do na. There are specific to any significant decrease or decline in the inflation in the past. There are specific to any significant decrease or decline in the past. There are specific to any significant decrease or decline in the past. There are specific to any significant decrease or decline in the past. Dengan visi itu nih, namun yang permainan yang radu ini maksud dunia tu dua persen dolar ini cuman deh, dengan visi hatter waktu ini kita ni katamai, jerom Paul G katawe meuteri saaran sih di dalam dakwaan tu pulang. Ilang itu dari urban saya nak perasan katamai, me inflation ni ke dua persen dolar ini kai labour market ni kita unemployment ni ke. Four percent dolar tu natang unemployment tegak weak employment labour market tegak weak kan? Nekai ni itu teori ke? Itu kot inflation ni ke? Wetet di ahi labour market tegak mana ang me teori ke? Wede kara net di ahi inflation ni ke? Wetet di labour market tegak weak no weak tawat me jobs growth tegak wedi win ni ahi kelaya. Nekai wede kat perasan ni kat terus ni ek balan de Jerome Powell ke approach ke mana agi dikelah? Okay, so two percent is firm. That's you're not going to get off that. Yes. Okay. So the theory of raising interest rates, 
um, is that it will decrease economic activity and increase unemployment. But you've been increasing interest rates for a while, and unemployment is now at a record low. So what's wrong with the theory? Why is unemployment not going higher? Well, the, the labor market is strong because the economy is strong. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a good thing that we've been able to see the beginnings of disinflation without seeing the, the labor market weaken. Um, it's just that uh, it, I, there's a lot of demand for workers. In fact, it, if, you, if you look at the supply of workers versus demand for workers, demand for, for U.S. workers is now more than 5 million greater than the available supply. And the available supply consists of people who are either working or actively looking for a job. So this, this, is, this was not the case before the pandemic. The pandemic really had a uh, significant, left a list, lasting mark so far on labor supply in the United States. The labor force particip participation rate came down, and there now is a, a shortage of workers, and it, it, feels, it almost feels more structural than cyclical. So that, that's, a, that's a significant issue. Now, you've resisted, I think, saying what <clears throat> unemployment rate would be acceptable to you, I think. But is there an unemployment rate that you think would moderate inflation such that you would tolerate unemployment at 4 percent, 5 percent, 6 percent? I guess I, I think about it this way. Um, you know, our, uh, we have two goals that Congress has assigned us, maximum employment and price stability. Price stability, as we've agreed, is 2 percent inflation. Maximum employment means if you want a job, you can get one. So right now, the labor market is at least at maximum employment. By many would say that it, that it is out of balance with more demand than there is supply. So what we're trying to do is get inflation down. We're not, we're not targeting uh, you know, a different uh, unemployment rate. We're, tr we're, trying, we're trying to use our tools to get inflation to come down over time. In hindsight, would you say that... I think I have a lot of questions. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. I think I have a lot of questions about the market. Uh, trading upwards in Bitcoin price ka trending upwards e wage overall crypto space ka value thing slightly <coughs> slightly green e wenokata wage ma altcoins me wenokata perform karana tamattara me mape main video ke baluwa asamano ma altcoins perform karana e overall market ekak meka kiya wagatta positively me thiyena cnbc me katha vartha karpu aakare fed chair powell says inflation is starting to ease but interest rates still likely to rise the interest rates keep at 25 basis points rolling very una unat may federal reserve chairman give me mild tone nika kanata me penny but kara wagi investors lagi bawa uda tiyana block stick up ayana kola part at a tilisena lasana di dow jones s&p fan and nasdaq yo game of volatile take up sa picture drop on i think maker owes overall good news i think bitcoin nika me what we see the rich kara रेट हाइक के कर तमाई नवता वराक के अंदर पुलवांग के लकी हुए नमूत ओरो लेबर मार्केट टेक ग्रो भी में संबंध पावर टल लोग कंसर्न ने काक नतीबाव वो गुलों में काता हुआ दिया गुलान्ड पैरों इधर बाल मुताब विशेष देवल तो बहुत अपडेट आते हैं ना मेक मामा ओरो पावर की स्पीचे संबंधिंग करन हितो अवैला हमें भी मनाएं मत तलुत्तीरी की एक सुविधा सक